Welcome back to another video. Today I am modeling how to work the GCF greatest common factor strategy using the cake or the ladder method. It can be called either one. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take your two numbers that you're given and that's number 24 and 36 in this case and you're going to put it in like a little cake and you'll see when I'm finished why this is called the cake or the ladder method. So what you want to do is you want to think, hmm, what's a number that I can pull out of both 24 and 36 that makes sense? Well, I know that the number 4 goes into both 24 and 36. So now what I have to do is I have to take 24 and divide it by 4 to find my answer down below. 24 divided by 4 is 6, and 36 divided by 4 would give me... 9. So now I have another layer to my cake. But I noticed something about 6 and 9. There's something that can still be pulled out of 6 and 9. I didn't get as low as I could possibly get. So now I'm going to take 6 and 9 and I'm going to think to myself, hmm, what number goes into both of those? Well, I know that the number 3 goes into both 6 and 9. How many times does 3 go into 6? 2 times. And how many times does 3 go into 9? 3 times. Now, 2 and 3 are as low as they could possibly get. There's nothing else that I can pull out of these two numbers. So what you're going to do now is you're going to make the letter G, because we're working with GCF, and you're going to make it on the side. See the letter G? What two numbers fall within my letter G? Hmm, 4 and 3. So what you're going to do with these two numbers is you're going to multiply them together to get 12. Simple as that. And that is your GCF of 24 and 36. See you next time on another video by Modeled for You.